Good morning friends, welcome to Dr. PM Times. This is Dr. Murugesan. In this episode, we will concentrate uh, why obesity is linked to metabolic disease, why excess adipose tissue causes metabolic syndrome or how excess adipose tissue or excess triglycerides in the adipose tissue causes uh, metabolic syndrome. As you all know, the excess of fuel that we take is first converted to glycogen, it is stored in the muscle and liver. Then the excess food that we take is converted into triglycerides and stored in the adipocytes as triacylglycerol. It is stored as triacylglycerol because it is water repellent and the amount of energy, more energy can be stored in a lesser space. Instead, if it is stored as glycogen, it has to be stored along with water which will lead to increase in almost 60 percentage of the weight. Say for example, it itself will require 60 kilograms. So imagine the rise, the normal amount of fat in a 70 kg adult male is only 11 kilograms. If the fat is stored as triglycerides, then the amount of space required is less. If the same excess energy stored as glycogen instead of triglycerides or triacylglycerol, the space required is more because it has to be stored along with water. So nature has made this adaptation to store excess energy as the concentrated form called triglyceride which yields more amount almost twice or thrice the amount of energy derived from proteins or carbohydrate. 9 grams uh, instead of uh, sorry 9 calories per gram instead of 4 calories per gram in this case of protein or carbohydrate. So it is an energy dense storage with less space and this triglyceride accumulation in the adipocytes occurs in what is called unilocular fat depots. They are similar to the organelles in any other cell and the more the triacylglycerol that is stored it keeps enlarging and the cell becomes engulfed with fat and after a physiological limit it even destroys the fat cell and the excess fat get deposited in some other cells namely the liver or muscle which are called unprofessional cells which are not professionally capable of storing fatty acid as adipocytes. So fat ideally has to be stored as triacylglycerol in adipocytes. If it is excessive, it even causes destruction of these adipocytes and this after destruction, the fat that is released or the fatty acid that comes over and above what is stored in the adipocytes gets stored in non-professional cells called liver and muscle. And that is the problem for type 2 diabetes or metabolic disease. Reason number one, one hypothesis states that in the adipose tissue of uh, obese people, there are more amount of macrophages because there is more inflammatory reaction in the adipocytes and more macrophages are present uh, to deal or remove the excess cell debris that occurs uh, due to a destroyed adipocyte due to excess accumulation of fat. So this inflammatory reaction makes the individual prone for type 2 diabetes mellitus or metabolic disease. Then number two, the excess fat I have already told you, apart from being stored in adipose tissue, adipocyte saturation level if it reaches, gets stored in unprofessional cells like uh, uh, liver and muscle. And these unprofessional cell storage of fatty acid causes uh, defective insulin receptors in them and uh, insulin cannot act. Uh, as you all know, the target RN for insulin for its ideal metabolic activity is the liver and muscle where the insulin receptors are abundant. So once fatty acid gets stored in these uh, non-professional cells present in liver and muscle, they become insulin resistant, insulin cannot act. Though there is hyperinsulinemia because of excess energy available, the insulin becomes useless. So these individuals become prone for the metabolic disease. So these are the two hypotheses that states or suggests why metabolic disease is common in obese. Number one, the inflammatory reaction mediated by adipocyte lysis 
and that causing accumulation of macrophages in the adipocytes. Number two, the release of adipocytokines uh, and uh, number three, the presence of excess lipid in the non-professional cells uh, or fatty acid storage in non-professional cells like liver and muscle makes the individual insulin resistant. Thank you.